In 2014, a 16-year-old Utah girl lost her battle with a rare Batten disease. Now the story of her courage and the support of her family and friends is the subject of a new film from T.C. Christensen. It's called Love, Kennedy. Art specialist Carol Makita brings us this story of faith and hope. In 2014, this bright, beautiful 16-year-old girl, Kennedy Hansen, succumbed to a rare terminal disease. She did it with courage. And she did it with optimism. Batten disease begins with seizures and swiftly attacks a child's eyesight, motor skills, and brain. There is no cure for those who suffer the pain and loss of movement, sight, and speech. And we said we can either go share Kennedy with the world, and we can share your love, Kennedy, that you want, and we can go make the very best of it. I said, or we can just be quiet, be sad, be together. And that's okay too. And Candy said, no, no, no. We're gonna go and have fun. With the year she had left, Kennedy was determined to embrace everyone around her, family, friends, strangers. They helped us in our hour of need with everything when they were struggling and we've been there for each other. This is really the story of two sets of parents with daughters diagnosed with Batten disease, two families, now more like one. Six-year-old Charlie Nelson also died in 2014, but not before she and Kennedy met and made a remarkable connection. Our daughter, Charlie, hadn't spoke for two or three months. And as soon as she touched her hand, Charlie looked up and she just kind of stuttered, hi. Yeah. Now these couples have created an organization to assist others whose children have terminal diagnoses. Soar, sharing our adversities realistically. We don't want anyone to ever feel alone and to have people that understand and they get it. We want to be that couple for someone else. You did more for us than we ever could have done for you. The courage and love of these children touched T.C. Christensen so much, they became the focus of his next film. You get the audience to a point where they can't see any hope and then it turns out better than they ever could have expected. Jason Wade plays Jason Hansen and had the same life-changing experience the moment he met the family. I took three steps into that home and this spirit of honesty came over me and he is enveloping me in this crushing bear hug and I already knew I was gonna do this, this role. Always thinking of others, putting her needs aside. They all hope that the film will bring comfort to those who are struggling. To give them hope, to give them faith, to give them a reason to continue to have courage, to forge through whatever it is that they're going through. It doesn't matter what religion or what you believe. It isn't just one thing. It's many things that Kennedy Hansen teaches us. Two families have faced tragedy with dignity and faith and are happy to share their story. Carol Makita, KSL 5 News. Carol, thanks. Love Kennedy is playing now in Utah theaters. Kevin is